At this stage, you need to complete the deployment by making the necessary configurations on Harmony Mobile's end. Therefore, we switch to the Infinity Portal and open the Harmony Mobile account. We drill down to the integrations page and start the wizard. We add the UEM of choice to create a new integration setting. In our example, let's choose Microsoft Intune. Next, we define our new setting, naming it, and authorizing Harmony Mobile to access the organization's data. We do this for each relevant add to my organization instance. Microsoft Intune, iOS devices, and Android devices. This is done using the admin login credentials you created for the Harmony Mobile integration on the Intune side. Now, we configure the Intune devices and security groups that we want to synchronize with the Harmony Mobile dashboard. If you use Android Enterprise and have two different profiles in your deployment, work and personal, select the relevant groups as required. Next, in the advanced section we select which personally identifiable information to import. Device name, number, and email. In case you do not want PII information to be stored in the Harmony Mobile Cloud, you can disable these options. The next step in the wizard involves the definition of the synchronization intervals. This includes, among other settings, how often Harmony Mobile connects to the UEM to sync devices, and the criteria for the deletion of devices upon successful or unsuccessful sync attempts. The final step in the wizard is deployment configuration. In case you would like to have devices sync automatically with the Harmony Mobile dashboard when added on the UEM's end, make sure to check this checkbox. Note that this option will generate a unique token that represents the Harmony Mobile dashboard. It is used in the UEM configuration to tell the device to which Harmony Mobile dashboard it needs to register. Make sure to keep a record of this token. Once you've completed the wizard's configuration steps, you can switch to the Devices tab to keep track of the synchronization status of the devices. When you see the active status for a device, you know that it has been fully integrated and synced with the Harmony Mobile dashboard. And with that, we've reached the end of this session. We now have an understanding of the major steps necessary in deploying a UEM with Harmony Mobile, and the steps necessary to complete this integration on the dashboard's end. In our next session, we'll briefly go over the use case of directly deploying Harmony Mobile to devices without any UEM integration. See you in the next session.